So far, we're getting to see the benefit of using TypeScript, right? So you have all of this TypeScript code and now you want to run this code in your browser. I have this index.html where I reference the code here. Well, in your browser, you're going to get an error. Here it says refuse to execute script from this for blah, blah, blah. Well, basically the browser doesn't understand TypeScript code. It only understands JavaScript code. So TypeScript is a tool that you use during development, but when you want to deploy your application to production, you're not going to have TypeScript code anymore. Instead, you're going to have the JavaScript version of your TypeScript code. And TypeScript provides a compiler that allows you to easily convert your TypeScript code to JavaScript code. So here I can say npx tsc, and then I can compile this file, which is to production slash index dot ts. This is the part coming from here. And now if I run this, well, we have an error during compilation. There is a type error where we are assigning an object to a parameter of string or number. And that is coming from here because here we say this array can only contain string or numbers. And then we are pushing this. So that's wrong. Let's run this again. TSC. Okay, now our JavaScript version is created. If I come here, you can see we have the index.ts and then here we have the JavaScript version. So here in this JavaScript version, you can see that we basically have what we had before, but without the types. And now in this index.html, instead of referencing this TS, I can reference this JS. And now if I should refresh this, you can see we don't have any errors in our console anymore. So let's just say in this index.ts, I do console.log array. Then I compile that to JavaScript, which is going to be here. In this JavaScript, you can see we have our console log array and we reference this JavaScript here. Now, if I go back here and refresh, you can see our array where we have our string and we have our numbers. So if you remember earlier, I said tools like TypeScript helps you to avoid pushing type related errors to production. And this is how it works because while you are compiling to JavaScript, you can catch the type errors and resolve them. And then you know that with your JavaScript code, you have more guarantee that you won't have a lot of type related errors. Now, like I said before, if you are using frameworks, you most likely don't have to set up TypeScript for yourself. You most likely don't have to come here to run this compilation yourself. The framework is going to take care of of it for you. For example, when I write TypeScript in React, I don't have to run this compilation. During the React build process, the TypeScript will be converted to JavaScript. Same with other frameworks that you might be using. I'm just showing you this because we're using a basic JavaScript example that doesn't have any build process involved.